Now, this is, <laughs> this is a great story. Oh, you're going to love this. Uh, there are very, very few of them left now, but one of the original Sherman tanks, believed to be a survivor from the D-Day landings in World War II, has found a new home in Leicestershire. The tank is going to be restored at the Armageddon Paintball and Activity Centre in Husbands Bosworth. Well, BBC Radio Leicester's Bridget Blair has been to see the new edition and more. <laughs> During the Second World War, it was said that the Americans were overpaid, oversexed and over here. And they brought their tanks too. One of those tanks has now come back to the UK. Hello. Hello there, Bridget. Nick Simons, I presume. Now, show me your Sherman. Here she is. This is Lucky 7, as she's uh, designated. It's an M4 Sherman with a weight of about 36 tonnes. They produced about 50,000 of these during the war. And the armour was so thin on them, they were uh, destroyed left, right and centre. If so many were destroyed during the war, where has this machine come from? This actually came from a, uh, a museum in Belgium um, where she was stood as a gate guard. The problem was that what didn't get destroyed during the war, after the war, was scrapped uh, a lot for metal. A lot were um, sold or given to the Russians. And being a, an allied vehicle, they were spread all over Europe. So how many are in this country then? Probably something like 25. How long will it take to to put this Sherman tank back together again? I think uh, between eight months to 12 months. Stuart Garner is the owner of Armageddon, but he's not going to let the public on this beauty of a Sherman. He's got lots of other tanks, and he's also got a large clientele. For all sorts of different people come up. Um, probably the oldest is a 95-year-old who was actually a driver of uh, the Sherman tanks in, uh, in the Second World War. Um, but anywhere from uh, 95 downwards down to sort of 12. They're, they're big toys for older boys, really. Boys never grow up, and uh, this is one of the best jobs of, uh, I think we've ever come up with. I may not be one of the boys, but by this time I was in the mood for some action myself. <laughs> OK, then, Bridget, the, the way to drive these vehicles is very straightforward. Um, as much as you have two tillers or levers straight ahead of you, which are the, uh, act as your brakes, uh, so, for example, to turn right, you'd pull back on your right tiller, to turn left, you pull on your left tiller, and then on the floor you have a big accelerator, which obviously the harder you push, the faster you go, and your gearbox is just down to your left-hand side, so it's ever so, ever so easy to drive. Right. It just seems strange without a steering wheel, though. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That, uh, that can throw an awful lot of people at first, but you'll be surprised. Within six or seven feet of pulling away, you can pick it up ever so, ever so easily. Push that switch down, hold it down until the engine starts. <laughs> oh, there you go. OK. OK, you are now uh, in charge of 240 brake horsepower of the uh, tank. <laughs> there you go. And a big accelerator pedal down on the right-hand side. If you gently start to accelerate on that pedal there, you'll feel the uh, vehicle start to move forward. Ooh. OK, give it a bit more accelerator, because it's so wet today, we do need a bit of accelerator to keep us going. That's it. Hard. Keep pressing. Keep going. There you go. Ah! How do I stop? That was so easy, he said. This was tank driving for the terrified. Especially when I tried to reverse. I just felt as if I got no control over... I, we were going through really boggy mud. I just felt it was going to run away with me. Once you actually get around the track, you'll be surprised just how well they, uh, they do, do work for you. Um, the trick is always show it who's boss and you'll be fine. Oh, can I have another go? Of course you can. Yeah, they're just, uh... we're, in, we're in neutral, aren't we? Push that switch down, hold okay. it down until the engine starts. Get the foot on the accelerator. This time I mean oh. business. You're not kidding. Oh, I love it. Good old Bridget. That was Bridget Blair reporting. Oh, I wish I could have been there.